Hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. How are you guys today? Um, you guys, I got my real eyes today. <laughs> These are my natural eyes. See them? I had to put my contacts um, to rest because my eyes kept getting irritated. So I gave them a break. And now I can't really see past like three feet in front of me. I'm like, uh, like this. But anyways, guys, um, good morning, good morning. I just want to say that um, God is good. Don't mind my hair. I literally just woke up, um, saw my husband to work, and now I'm here with you. Well, I'm supposed to be eating my breakfast, but yeah, my taste buds has been acting funny lately. <clears throat> So you guys that are my regular followers, keep me in prayer because this acid reflex business is no joke. I'm tired of it. Excuse me, some mornings I wake up, I can't even talk. So I need to um, do my like a uh, real prayer point fasting just for this in particular. <clears throat> I go my crazy animals. Peter, here they are, crazy, nutty, nutty girl, they're so nutty, why are you so nutty, but anyways guys, <clears throat> I want to talk to you guys about friendship, it's crazy because my homeboy, Fade Noid, I believe, let me see what he is on Facebook, you guys follow him, I mean not Facebook, I'm sorry, on um, not Paris, not Periscope, but um, YouTube. Follow him. Yeah, Fade Noid on YouTube. That's Fade F A D E Noid, cause we used to call him Paranoid. Um, N O I D, and he used to be like a rapper kid or whatever, um, slash drug dealer, slash street vagabond. No offense, bro, but now he's giving his life to Christ, and he's doing so much for the youth. So if you're young, and you want to know more about God, and you want to <clears throat> get more involved, and if you're in the Lake Horse area, and if you're in the um, West Palm Beach area, go check him out, because he's doing wonderful things in the community. So, <clears throat> actually, um, August 12th, he'll be out there, and um, in West Palm Beach, I'll put up a flyer. So if you're down there, you can go check it out. You can check out the flyer, and you can go see what he has going on. <clears throat> so, okay, so I had a friend who I met recently. So I met a couple of friends. Some of them were cool. Some of them, you know, some of them were saved. Some of them was not. You know, everybody was living their lives or whatever. But it was amazing because they were with corporate America. <laughs> Dogs are crazy. And when I say corporate America, they were like, they were with like um, big entities, mega corporations, like things that I dreamed of at one point. At one point, I dreamed to work at these companies, like they, not Fortune 500 companies. I'm talking about like security clearances type companies that, that are like big in my specific area. I'm talking about, I'm talking about like big stuff, you know? So I felt honored to be sitting down with them, to be like, dang, I'm sitting down with these people whose background is not like mine, who, um, who, sorry guys, who's like 100, like 254 straight, basically like everything is like 100, and I'm just like, I'm just like, God, you are so good to allow me to hang around these people, like, you know, this is pretty amazing. I want to be like y'all when I grow up, you know, type stuff. Because the job that they're working is freaking amazing, you know. The corp, like, bro. And they were young. So, I'm thinking like, okay. God, you gave me the plug to work with these corporate executives or whatever. And I don't know if you guys know me, but I'm really into business. And because I'm into business, I love 
like corporate ideas and mega corporation ideas because I, I you know I'm an entrepreneur and I love business and that's and those are my goals is to get that big but anyways I was like okay so they invited me to come sit just know that I went out to eat with a whole bunch of them and it was great I met a few and they were great people everybody had their own agenda um one of them long story short um when I started talking about my faith um one of them said you know they're cool with that they they love that they they she basically says she loves you know the fact that you know I love God and everything and and then like later on um she was like do you you know you want to come hang out and chill or whatever and I was like yeah we could do that like yeah I'm cool with like you know I could use some friends professional friends or whatever and then then she was like she I guess she's whatever all I know is that I was basically shunned later on because of my faith because I'm not too sure like basically if you want to keep talking about God you can't sit down with us if you want to keep talking about God you can't be at our table if you want to keep talking about God you can't you can't sit with us that's 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 my whole objective of this thing right here hold on so I was like so I'm basically being shunned by my for my faith because I believe and I'm a believer of God I'm being shunned I'm being pushed away because of my faith I'm telling I'm being told because I love God that or because I respect God and won't condone certain you know things certain lifestyles certain parties certain you know whatever you know that I'm being shunned for it and mind you I looked up to these people like like dang y'all up there y'all doing you know y'all doing my dreaming um I would love to work that's like my dream job to work in corporate America with the top executives but the security clearances I can't pass it because of my my background charges from before so that's one of the things that hang over my head and I'm like forget that I'm gonna start my own that's why I started my own business my own businesses because I was so frustrated with the fact that corporate America wouldn't let me in so I was like okay you know what forget forget all y'all forget that now I'm hanging out with, look at Leela this girl is so bad she is terrible Leela what what are you doing My dog, she's a hot mess. So, I was like, corporate America won't let me in. So, I'm going to do my own thing and get myself in. So, I want to tell you guys this. Like, like you, you be surprised. I'm going to say it like this. You be surprised that kings and queens would, like, reject you because of your faith. You know, like, don't, don't, don't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus. And I told the girl my testimony, too. I was like, um, you know, how I got <laughs> saved and everything. And, gave, and decided to give my life to Christ. And and that's what I go by. And I told her, I said, listen, all I'm going to pray for you is that God will come down and have that divine intervention with you where he gets to know you, you know, where y'all get to talk. About two, I didn't push it on her. About two or three days later, um, she was supposed to hit me back. We didn't hear nothing else. And then my other friend told her, like, no, she, she doesn't vibe with you. She's straight off of you or whatever. But you're supposed to be a real person in real time and all this real stuff you were talking about but you're not but it's okay because I'm not going to judge them because they judge me I'm just going to say like you know it is what it is I love getting shunned and pushed away from my faith it hurts it hurts but it's like what else can I do I live for God because when I was in the world and I was living crazy or whatever people wasn't trying to help me they was talking about me they was they was they was laughing at me. They was telling stories about me. They was adding salt to my womb. They were they were person they were they were like if man had a, a a heaven or hell to put me in, I would be dead like twenty times over. I was lied on. I was I was talked about. <clears throat> I was made fun of. I was all of the above. And now if corporate America or whoever's in this world chooses to do it to me now that's fine because I know I'm sheltered by the most I got I know I'm covered by God because I'm living for him now and I will forever be a servant to him to keep telling the world about Jesus 
and not about me because what can I do? I'm nothing compared to what God is. I'm nothing compared to where he's brought me from. Where I came from, I should have been dead. Where I came from, I should have been sick. Where I came from, I should not have been married. I should not have been nothing. Like I should not have been out here with my mind, my right mind. Highly frustrated mind at times, but <laughs> I would not have been here. So I'm not gonna try to act all grand and brand new. I got brought myself here. <clears throat> I did not. I give God all the glory. Yes, I made some decisions to serve him and stay consistent into serving him, fasting, praying, and fighting to be where I am right now. I did fight, but at the same time, a lot, but I've, I've been fighting. I've been fighting all my life. How does it go? <laughs> I've been fighting all my life, but now I'm fighting for the right things. You know? I don't even have to fight. I choose to fight. But... Resist temptation. Every every um every rose has its thorn that is not biblical. <laughs> but seriously, like um Paul says, there's a thorn. Everybody has a thorn. Has that one thing that keeps you humble. And it's with God help that we're able to sustain. That always you know what is God that's keeping me because this thorn on my side pfft. and what I mean with thorn on your side is like it's something that that just bothers you even as a Christian like and you getting saved and you pray and you fast it's just, this thing won't just it will not leave you it won't leave you alone <laughs> it's like that thing that's just like it's there but God knows what he's doing God knows what he's doing. But guys, that's just a message. Don't it's okay if people reject you for God's for for the gospel. It's okay. My cousin in law is crazy. I told her I'm not her friend and she's like, even though you're not my friend, but I need you to know about this meeting. <laughs> yeah guys, so um <clears throat> I have a lot of do-it-yourself projects that I got to show you guys sooner or later. And then I got to finish my testimony video. So, <clears throat> but I'm not going to hide my, my gospel faith because, because of some people I just met. Because of, because it's for friends. I'm not pressed for friends. God was always my best friend when, um. After I got saved, God became my best friend. He knew everything about me. He knew he knew my goods. He knows my bads. He knows my ends. He knows my outs. I'm not pressed for best friend. This is not about friendship. When I die, when you die, when I die, you die alone. You don't die with a whole group of people. And when you go to when you walk through the through the valley of the shadow of death, you're not walking with others. It's all about you. It's a personal relationship. So I'm not gonna take this girl or that guy or this girl with me when I go. It's gonna be me. And God's gonna ask me, yo, so what's up? Why, why, when they was, you know, living like this and that, you didn't try to, you know, I'm not gonna sit here. A real friend is not gonna see another friend walk in in a ditch and be like, hey, you know, good job, you're doing a great job. No, a real friend's gonna tell you like, hey, you know, you have, you have something, you have something there, like you need to fix that. <laughs> I'm just remembering my cousin. My new cousin-in-law, he was getting married this week, and he goes, hey, if my breath was stink, would you tell him, like, I probably would. I probably would. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, guys, so just like uh, Job did, I want to give y'all scriptures. I'll put some scriptures down here below. But just like Job did when his friends was giving him bad advice. God told him to pray for his friends. God told him to pray for his friends. Some dirty white dogs. I gotta bathe them. Look at them. Look at how big Leela is. Leela. Leela, come here. Why are you so big? 
Why, why are you so big? Why are you growing so much? Ain't you a Maltese? You're not supposed to be that big. Left. My wannabe guard dogs. White fluffy dogs on full attack on full attack. But anyways guys, are you willing to like these are the dream people that I've always dreamed about working with, being with, connecting with, and I had the opportunity. And the devil wants me to feel like I blew it because I talked about God. Because I put God in front of me because I <clears throat> put God as a mantle in front of my friendships like I put him first y'all mad for that the devil is a liar and you can keep all your little bootleg friendships because there's I've had so many friends I'm one of the most friendliest people you could ever meet okay and I've had so many friends it's ridiculous but I refuse I refuse <clears throat> I refuse to give up my salvation or disfame God or or discredit my God for a few people that I just met that works in somebody else's corporate office, even if they had their own office. Matter of fact, I had a big boss when I was working for ADT and I was an executive and I was doing really good there. And all I kept doing was talking about God too. This dude was frustrated, he was aggravated, he was whatever, but he could not disrespect me and he could not disrespect God. He could not say any of these ill things about me in front of me. Behind my back, maybe, but in front of my face, no. As a matter of fact, when I was working for that office, that whole office started praising God by the time I was walking out that door. When I decided to leave that job, okay, the whole office was talking about God. The whole office was telling God, thank you. You are a blessing. You are a world changer. You have to know who you are. When you walk in a room in the presence of other people that are non-believers, you have that light that can not expose, but expose the darkness, but not what they do, not their sins, but the darkness. You expose the darkness, the darkness run. The darkness can't stand the light, so they're gonna run, you know? So if anybody doesn't wanna be my friend, or they don't wanna be close to me because I talk about God too much, or I'm super deep, or, I ain't lit or whatever the heck they want to say, whatever. I think I'm pretty lit or I'm too serious or whatnot. I don't care because everybody has to work out their own salvation. You need to work out your own salvation. I need to work out my own salvation. What makes me weak may not make you weak. What makes me stumble may not make you stumble. But what? But I got to protect myself. You understand me? And if you drink two bottles of Hennessy and you're good to go and you have no issues, good for you. If you if you smoke reefer and there ain't nothing wrong with you, well that's good for you. But as for me, I'm straight. I no. That's not what I'm that's not what I'm about. And I'm not judging you if you do. But I'm just saying don't don't come for me because I don't. It's not fair. You understand me? And then so you gonna try to just look how dirty she Are you kidding me? So now you're gonna try to judge me? Because I don't, because there's certain things I don't entertain. These are, but these are just examples. Like, don't knock one for something that they just don't vibe with. If I, if you burn and you drink, that's you. That has nothing to do with me. I'm not gonna judge you for that. I'm gonna tell you I wouldn't do it if I were you, because I used to do it, and it, I, it didn't make me a better person. It made me actually worse. It made my depression worse. So, I know I'm just rambling right now. So I'm just gonna let y'all go. Excuse me. I have to finish my testimony video. I'm going to put that up. You guys have a blessed day. And I hope you guys stay closer to God. Draw near to him as he draws near to you. Okay, guys. I love you with the love of God. Hey, say bye. Say bye to the people. Peter, come here. Say bye. Say bye, Pete Rock. Say Leela saying bye. Say bye, Leela. Look how dirty this girl is. So dirty. Look. She's awful. All right, guys. Y'all have a blessed day.